Hello guys and girls, this is Journey Gunny, ladies and boys and girls. There's some stupid people in the world, like, sometimes your friends, sometimes your family, that say silly and stupid things to you sometimes just to drag you down and make you feel bad. Now, when I expect to have a conversation with somebody, I don't expect people to judge me and drag me down to their level. I like to have a nice conversation with people. Now, with family, they would like to drag you down. Imagine if they said this to you, have you had a shower today? Have you had a bath today? Oh, you you smell, you stink, have you had, you, why are your clothes smell? When clearly every day you guys and girls, and ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, know yourself you've had a bath and you had a shower. Why do they keep saying it to you then? Why do they keep dragging you down for? Why do they keep saying horrible things? Because of their problems in their fucking head and they can't sort it out in their brain. They want to drag somebody else down and make them feel more uncomfortable all the time because they think it's funny but when someone gets hit and hurt it's not funny i don't condemn violence i'm not going to say this is a violent channel but when you get annoyed with your friends or your family saying silly things to you and they already know the answers just to wind you up or to think it's funny just because they can it's very annoying and upsetting for you isn't innocent isn't isn't it guys and girls and those boys and girls why do they do it because they get a kick out of it they think it's funny it won't be so funny when tables turn, when you cut ties with them, and don't speak to them again. That's how it feels to me sometimes when you're trying to amend things to them and be nice to them. One day they'll be nice to you, next day they'll be horrible to you. That's where life is. And then they won't they talk behind your back and they won't say it to your face. And they pretend to help you and they pretend to be nice to you, just because they can. It doesn't make it right though. You try your best to be nice and kind to them and be pleasant with them and they don't want to know. That's how it comes across to me. And I find it very annoying and irritating. But they they think, yes, he's angry and annoyed. That's what I want. That's what they're trying to say to you. He's got suckered in. I want him to get angry and annoyed. It makes me feel good and better. That's what some people do. They're very sickening, some people. Just because they've got bipolar or schizophrenia, they think they can just upset people and say horrible things. They don't know they're doing it half the time. Or sometimes they do know they're doing it. Just they're putting on a putting on a, a joke to people just to annoy people or say horrible things. I thought I'd do a quick video about this. It must annoy a lot of people. And some people may not understand one another. None of us do half the time. But uh, thinking here and sitting here and getting... Your thoughts are annoyed and angry. You don't know if you guys and girls ever get annoyed and angry. Some of us do break things and shout out loud. But, uh, like, ah, loud, obviously. And I'm just sitting here thinking and wondering to myself and uh, doing a video, obviously, that why can't more people be nicer and understanding to people when they can't? It's like they don't know how to have a conversation. You ask them certain questions and they can't give you the answers or answer the answers to you. But when they want to ask you something or talk to you, you know what I mean? They expect you to listen to them. They're playing mind games. They're playing silly little games. But sometimes mind games run out. Sometimes people catch up on, or catch on what you're doing with your mind games. Mind games don't last forever and they never will do. So uh, you people that are haters, you people that are bullies and trollers, Keep thinking your ways. Do what you do. Because one of these days, time runs out. Literally. You can't bully again or hurt anybody again, mentally. Same with family. Some family move away because of people being horrible to them and never see them again. Some people don't care. They say it's not no risk enough my nose. But all you want to do is just be friendly and to be nice to people people don't give it your back and they wonder why the world's a, the way it is and it's a right mess you try and have a conversation with your family your mum your dad your grandma your granddad they just don't understand you they're not on the same level as you they're old school that's how it is that's how I see it I mean, some people may not like this video, fair enough, but it, I'm just telling you how it can be, how it is. For a lot of us that are trying to understand 
the way the world is, the way the people are in the world. And people that just want to go around upsetting people because they think it's, think it's funny until they get caught. The friends have had me disown them, or many other things. You know, it's very annoying. I can keep saying it and saying it over and over again. And uh, some people are not strong minded. Keep playing the games because time does run out. Not everyone's going to take these silly games anymore. When people do get frightened as well, none of them will take that either. People have just been nice and humble and talk to people normally, there won't be a problem. But they don't know how to have conversations and speak to people normally. They want to be aggressive all the time. That's why I'm making this angry video, so you can understand. Not everyone's bad, but people don't see the pi picture, they see, always see a black and white or grey. They think everybody's bad. Some people provoke people to make them angry and annoyed. They only want to help you, some people in your family, because they want to, you know, get information out of you, or your pain. Or some people are genuine and they will help you. Not everyone, not everybody wants to help one another in this world. Apparently, was it different in the olden days? Probably the same, but probably more nicer people. These days, people are just selfish and too full of themselves in this world, unfortunately. So I'm sitting here just thinking, my thoughts are going from my head. You know, <laughs> takes more of a man to walk away from the problems than face your problems. Some people say face them. They don't want to know you. Just walk that way, or that way, left, right, or down. Walk out that door. Never come back again. Many people have done that. Some people haven't, but uh, some people have got the, the, the balls or the will to, you say. Imagine if you're, you know, you, you, you live with your family or your friends. They can sometimes support you and help you. But with your family, they talk about this autistic program that's on the TV. And they say, oh, it's very good. It's opened my eyes. It's merely made me see different things to people that ain't autistic. Are you scared of watching the, the autistic program? No. They seem to think you want to be like them. Well, in the other facts, you want to have your own life and be you. But when you say that to people, they think you're being selfish and self-centred. No. If you don't do it their way, they get annoyed. But we're all made differently and built differently in this world, so why can't we do what we want to do, in reason, as long as it doesn't upset anybody else? But they don't see it the same way. They think, you know... If you don't do something, you don't watch something, or you say something to somebody, they take criticism and anger towards you just because you're not doing what they want. When you're just trying to be yourself. But they will never understand the real picture of me. Many of us out there have lived their lives and uh, some people haven't understood them. They've uh, taken things the wrong way and out of a portion and granted and uh, basically said, let's see how long I've been on the phone for. Been on the phone for about eight minutes. I don't know if it's going to hold any more memory, but it may do because I need to probably delete some stuff off my phone. But like I was saying, they these people in mental hospitals and put you on drugs and stuff, they don't understand you, so they dope you up with drugs. Your family think you've got problems and you haven't got problems and you only need a psychologist. Psychiatrist or psychologist, it's the way you think. All the people just want is love and attention and a hug. That's all they want. It's not difficult. And it's certainly not hard either. But people don't want to do that anymore. They don't want to give people emotion, love and help and attention because they don't know how to. They can't even look after themselves and never mind other people. And that's what probably upsets a lot of people in the world. Let's uh, take this to the bedroom. And we can talk a bit more. You know, I'm going to put this um, video onto YouTube of me talking about life and things in general that upset me. It's just sometimes with family and sometimes, you know, your friends can support you. Depends where you are. 
and what you do. If you're having a bad day, talk to your friends online or Facebook or Instagram. They may understand you. I just get a bit triggered sometimes, as you can tell with my thoughts and opinions. I get quite angry and uh, quite annoyed just because I don't think people are listening half the time. When people say they are, they say they understand you, but they don't understand you just to try to make you feel better. They don't want to understand you, that's the problem. They want to live their life and their life only. They don't want to help anyone else. And then they're only doing favours for you and helping you because they, if you're paying them, or they're just trying to be helpful in their own way. So, see why people get frustrated and angry and annoyed? Just with people around them. Because they don't want to know. They don't want to help you. They pretend to help you because they can. And you build up this anger and like you like, and frustration inside you because you don't think no one's there listening to you and they say they are and they're not. And other people think to themselves, why can't someone just be there for me? And sometimes they don't have that. A person that's there for them. So they're on their own all their life. No one there to guide them. Mum or dad. Sister or brother or auntie. It's why they go in foster cares and children's homes because nobody wants them. Right, I've been on the phone for nearly 11 minutes now. And uh, I just get annoyed and angry because they, they don't have a clue the way I am. You try and explain to them and talk to them, but they just do not know how to answer your questions. I'm not expecting them to know, you know what I mean? I'm expecting them to just sit there and listen to what I have to say. But other times they don't want to listen. Because they think to themselves, if, if I'm listening to him, why doesn't he listen to me? You know what I mean? Give and take. They probably think you're boring. They don't want to just get engaged with you or have a conversation. They think you're too cool or too stupid to, to talk to. That's what some people are. All these thoughts are coming to me because I want to get triggered and angry. I think to myself, people are just pretending to give a damn about people. But they don't really care. This has triggered me off. Do you know why I'm, tr I'm so triggered off today? Um, I'm just annoyed and angry that people speak to me rudely. I'm sure a lot of you guys and girls, and ladies and gentlemen out there, in jobs, in the army, in workplaces, get people rude to you everywhere you go across the world. I'm sorry that happens like that. Perhaps some people just misunderstand what you're saying, get confused. There's a lot of people that just don't have a clue. And sometimes, unfortunately, it's too late. Some people just don't want to be here anymore. And then they wonder why, oh, I wish I would have done a lot more. Oh, I wish I would have helped him a lot more. They have regrets and things with people. And they start sobbing and crying because they could have done more. They didn't want to do more on the earth when you had a problem. And now they want to do more for you. It's all a show. It's all an act that they're doing. They didn't want to know at the first. So why would they want to know now? There's a lot of fake people in this world. It doesn't make it right though, does it? They keep being fake to you and uh, trying to just pretend to know you and want to be your friend and help you. If they actually understood you and looked under the surface properly and figured out what is wrong with you, then they'd understand. But they don't want to know. That's the thing. What's the point of association with these people and making friends and talking to them when they're going to be like that with you? They're banging your head against the brick wall. They just do not want to know. They, they, they haven't got the time of day. Then when they were there, when they were their friends and family, they act differently to when they're around you. Self-centered is what it is. Selfish, self-centered. So I'm just sitting here thinking, my my brain, my thoughts. Sometimes people say it's good to get it on paper. Could be. Everyone doesn't want to help anyone these days, as long as you're paying or trying to help them. The social workers don't give a damn, the police don't give a damn, the hostel don't care. I like to think the firemen, people care when you're in a fire. It's their job. Everybody helps someone because it's their job, apparently. If they don't get paid, they're not interested. 
And that's the world we're living in at the moment. People that don't understand you or anybody else that is around you. Yep. Could the world get any worse? Could do. Possibility. Just look at my Back to the Future Cup. California with the sun. The Golden State. I've got a car plate number plate, I've probably shown it off before. See, the license plate. As you can tell, I'm going to show you. There you go. That's the car plate number. Put it on the back of your car if you want to. Got to get back in time. Only if I wish there was a time machine to just take me back in time, get me away from all this craziness and people that are around me. That don't understand me, I don't have a clue of what I'm about and what everybody else is around, around me. If they actually knew and understood me and take the time of day and were understanding me, that would be good, but they don't want to. They just want to criticise you and say horrible things to you. Stupid, isn't it? Pitch ball controller. I'm just sitting here thinking. How crazy the world is. It really is diabolical for some people. They just don't want to know about you or anyone else that's around them. They're their family and they may help. I mean, there's some a few people that will help you. Is it because I'm drugs or beer or smoke or mentally poorly? Most people are ill. Madness. I wonder if the world would just be nice and peaceful, even though people around that are nice to talk to instead of always bumping into idiots, dickheads, and negative people. Wouldn't it be nice to just have a co normal conversation with somebody? How are you? How's your day? Very well, thank you. How's yours? Just in one of those moods today, I think. Well, only if things were just simpler and would be simple. There is only a way. There's nothing much on the TV. Quite boring, as you can tell. Nothing on the TV. But like I say... I think I've said enough for this video. Thank you for all joining me and I'll see you next one. Take it easy, peace.